Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you with a quick skincare video today. So if you want to know more, stay tuned. As you can see here, I'm using my Lacora Moisturizing Face Wash. You're going to want to get rid of all the dirt and the oils that's built up on your face during the day. We're going to be demo painting, so you want to start with a nice and squeaky clean canvas. I just want to quickly say that my head scarf was not trying to behave throughout this video, so if you see me adjusting it, you know what's up, but let's get into it anyway. I'm applying sunflower oil to my face so that the razor blade later will be able to easily grind on my skin. Sunflower oil is rich in vitamin A and E, which helps to promote good skin and regenerate in damaged skin cells. It's non comedogenic light and non-greasy which means it gets absorbed into the skin easily without blocking the pores. As you can see, I whipped out the razor blade. This is what I'm going to be using to dermaplane my face. So I just want to say a quick disclaimer. I'm not a professional, so if you have super sensitive skin or problematic skin, please seek a professional. You might be wondering what are the benefits of dermaplaning and what is dermaplaning? Dermaplaning is an effective and safe exfoliation procedure. It's typically used to make the skin look and feel smoother and to help create deeper product penetration. Boosting the product's effects. Guys, this is a tongue twister and a half. You've got to be so careful not to nick and cut your skin. Just take it easy, take it slow. My video is sped up, so it looks like I'm going a lot faster than I actually am. But let's jump into the benefits of this. It provides deeper product penetration. It removes soft facial hair that traps dirt, also known as peach fuzz. It works on all skin types and there's instant results at no downtime. You also end up looking nice, soft and glowy. What's there not to like? Over here, you see me mixing my turmeric face mask. Guys, this face mask is so good and homemade. Anyone can make it, but I'll get into the benefits in just a second. To make this bad boy, you're gonna wanna get a bowl, some ground turmeric, some tea tree oil, a lemon, some apple cider vinegar, I like the one with the mother, some honey, and get mixing. Mix it until your wrists can mix no more. All the exact measurements will be listed down in the description box. Some of the benefits of a turmeric face mask is that it can prevent breakouts and lessen active ones, fight eczema, reduce acne scarring, brighten dark circles, and bring out your natural glow. Just make sure you're not allergic to any of the ingredients I've previously shown. I'm gonna leave my mask on for 40 minutes, but you can leave yours on for longer or less time. This is what it looks like after 40 minutes. Make sure to give your face a nice scrub to get it all off or you'll have a yellow tinge. I'm about to use the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% serum. It's good to help clear congested complexions and to minimize the appearance of the severity of blemishes. It's good for soothing irritation and to even out skin tone. It's also good if you have breakouts and oily skin as it can calm your breakouts, reduce the appearance of spots and it rebalances the oil levels in your skin. Oil, alcohol and silicone free, water based and should be applied before any of your heavier oils and creams. I like to go in with a secondary serum, which is a little bit thicker in consistency. This serum is the Lacora Q10 Renew Anti-Wrinkle Multi-Intensive Serum, which helps to smooth the skin and to reduce the appearance of fine lines. Black don't crack, but there's no harm in helping the black not to crack. Normally, I like to let this dry down properly before moving on, but obviously, I was way too excited. Yes, black skin needs an SPF. I'm using the Nivea Sun UV Face Shine Control Factor 50. Can black skin get skin cancer? Yes, SPF is your answer. Hyperpigment yes SPF is your answer okay it's not the cure for everything but love your skin protect it and look after it wear an SPF do some research and let me know what you think down below all right anyways that's all for my quick skincare I've been doing this routine as a base for a little while now and I absolutely love it if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell all my social media links will be down below in the description so connect with me